Will the Bengals re-sign controversial cornerback Eli Apple? Hi again, everyone, and welcome into Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com, and Eli Apple is one of the many Bengals free agents that we're going to be discussing over the next couple of weeks. Should they re-sign him? Will he sign elsewhere? And Apple is, is certainly controversial because he's a, a former first-rounder, 10th overall pick, by the way, that has played pretty well for the Bengals over the past two seasons. And yet, it isn't that simple. He's 27 years old, and... On one hand, he's played pretty well. I don't think he's going to get you know crazy money on the free agent market, so should be affordable. At the same time, there are some antics that come with Eli Apple. We all know what he's willing to tweet after wins, after games. He's willing to talk a lot of trash. He'll wave to the field and dance and do uh, wave to the fans on the field. All of those things, like little unique quirks about his personality. Uh, he certainly didn't like getting benched earlier this year for one game in favor of Cam Taylor Britt. And that's the other part of this. Chidobe Awuzie, Cam Taylor-Britt, Mike Hilton. That seems to be the trio of the future for the Bengals in their starting cornerbacks. But Awuzie is still recovering from a torn ACL. The Bengals likely to address the position with a, a rookie in the draft. Is that enough? Do they decide to bring him back? Do they not? I think this is market dependent. And does Eli Apple have a market in free agency? Because he's been a starting cornerback on a back-to-back defenses that have been really, really good, one of which went to the Super Bowl. The other uh, went to the AFC title game. Both won the division. And yeah, for all of his antics, if he's willing to sign another $3.5 million deal, three, you know, $3.75 million contract for one year, I think there's a chance that the Bengals bring him back and a realistic chance. But if another team's willing to give him a multi-year contract or willing to uh, pay him more than the Bengals are willing to, which to me is probably a one-year deal, I think he ends up elsewhere. And I'm not sure they're going to. Eli Apple is such a, uh, is probably one of the most popular cornerbacks on social media in the league, and not for good. I mean, he talks a lot of trash, but a lot of people talk trash back. And so it's not like he's popular on social media because of anything other than talking smack. And is it worth it? The risk, the reward. Last year, I had the same debate, and the Bengals ultimately said $3.75 million makes sense. So what I'm going to, to put this down to, and, 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 and really what I think this does come down to, will Eli Apple be back or not? One, it's his market, and if other teams are interested in giving him a multi-year deal, I don't think the Bengals would be. Two, will Lou Anarumo still be in Cincinnati? If Lou Anarumo is still in Cincinnati, they have a great relationship. I could see the path back. If not... I think more than likely the Bengals move on and Eli plays elsewhere in 2023. We're going to do this for all the Bengals free agents, at least all of the, the major name, major contributing free agents, uh, including, you know, of course, Jesse Bates, Hayden Hurst, and more, and all of these free agent previews brought to you by Rivertown Inquiry and rivertowninquiry.com. Make sure you check out Doug and his crew. They do an awesome job. If you want uh, the Tiger Rocks bourbon glass that you always see me drinking out of on social media, maybe you're looking for some black and orange gear. There's plenty at rivertowninquiry.com. Just 10 minutes from Paycor Stadium in Oakley. For more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. And if I had to give it a percentage for Eli Apple returning, I'd say 25% right now, maybe 30%. In fact, let's go up. Let's go up a little, 30%, because I certainly think there's a path, but it might not be the most realistic. We'll uh, continue to get to other free agents as the offseason rolls on. And we're just getting started here with off-season coverage right here on CBT, Cincinnati Bengals Talk.